OK, so we must have another location. You got any leads on a lab? Oh, this is all that Blake offered up. Right, so no cook, no lab. And no bust. Dale, we're on the move. Leon, tell me something I want to hear. I've just checked camera number 13, only 94 to go in the general area. Well, yes, that's assuming you're still on the road. Hey, what about the bug on Blake's phone? Well, it's no good if he's sitting on it. I'm getting nothing but noise. <sighs> Wonderful. Look, Audrey, what have you brought up on Van Truck? Uh, he has leases on a number of properties. Uh, one in Preston, one in Melton. He's got a warehouse in Seddon. Well, they were headed to Seddon when we lost them, weren't they? Yeah, that's what I reckon. And get this, his company name is Super Chef Securities. Great, drug dealer with a sense of humour. Leon, get everyone to this warehouse in Seddon, will you? No signs of life here, Audrey. Any other possible locations? Uh, no. Sorry, the next closest is Preston. Well, they've got to be in the Melbourne metro area somewhere. I'm still getting a feed off the bug on Blake's phone. Yeah, but are you hearing any of that, Leon? No, no, it must be in his pocket or something. It's still too muffled. Uh, did you tell him to take the phone out of his pocket? Stella, Shannon, do me a favour. Head round to Josh's apartment and see what's going on, will you? Love to. No, I have to say, Van. You getting this, Kerry? Yeah, yeah, thanks, Leon. I'm quietly surprised. Only the best for Nigella. Where do I take a piss? Come here. Up the stairs and to the right. Don't touch me. Somewhere in Seddon. Near a river, it's a green warehouse. Yep, yep, we're here, we're outside. Okay, I am. Um, I need to see Will. Is that your boyfriend? Yes. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry, that's just too risky right now. Hey, if you want me to go through with this, you get Will down here. I need to talk to him. Blake, it's just not going to happen for your own safety. But I can assure you, the minute this is all over, we'll take you to him. Deal? Blake, that's the best I can do. Fine. Right. Now, we need some vision in there. What? Cameras. I'm going to send two officers in to pick the place up. What's the best way in? There's a side door. I can open it for them. Great. First, we need man truck. his mates out of there, though. And how am I supposed to do that? I don't know. Use your imagination. <laughs> right. Michael, Christian, we need eyes in there. Head down the side of the building with the gear. Yeah, stand by. Copy that. Oh. Those GDs even check this out. Mm. the lithium. So basically we're looking at a Nazi method, right? Which seems appropriate. <laughs> Taking notes, Kerry? This guy is quite the chemistry tutor. PhD, apparently. He's still a drug addict. Ex. Ex addict. Let's give him a break, eh? 
Oh, I love these. A straight ball glass stop cock. Yeah, we know you're a smart ass, okay? But what you're gonna do is you're gonna teach Phil here how to cook. Okay. Phil, making ice, making methamphetamine that you can smoke is essentially a purification process. And what is the purest thing on earth? My dick, Nigella? No, it's not. It's love. Love is what keeps us pure. Love is what keeps me clean and safe. And what is the next most pure thing? Is this guy playing us or what? Ice. Ice is the crystalline phase of water, the cool breath of Mother Nature that shows up each and every impurity. And you don't have enough ice to make ice. Is that it? Well, then we'll get some. Here we go. We've got Van Truck and two associates exiting the building. Uh, they're getting into a black Nissan 300ZX. Leon, we're at Josh's. Something serious has happened here. Hey, have you got a phone? Oh, my police officer, give me your phone. Give me your phone now. OK, you can get this back from the Kilda Road Police Complex, OK? Leon. Leon, it's Josh. Where the hell are you, mate? Your apartment's been trashed. I'm on Shelley Street near Elizabeth in Richmond. Heading down the laneway off Shelley. I need some backup. What's going on? Just give me some backup, will ya? Uh, Shannon, I've just had a call from Josh. He's around the corner from you in a laneway off Shelley Street in Richmond. He's asking for backup. What else did he say? Oh, that's it. He called off. Also, we're in position. Stand by. Now, Phil, because this is the Nazi method, this simply will not do. Hold this. Take that. And this. Follow me. Now, say what you like about the Germans, but they did invent the Volkswagen. They also prided themselves on impeccably clean glassware. Now, I want you to take those three, go over there and scrub them till they're clean as Christmas. I reckon we've got three minutes. We only need two. Let's set up vision in the main cooking area. So you're the cameraman as well. You're so versatile. Not clean enough, Phil. Those Nazis had them pristine. Have you ever seen their bunkers? One, it's rough. I need one in there. Give it to me. Give the camera to me. Is that the best you can do, Leon? Thanks, Leon. Nigella, this is so clean you can see the hair on my balls in it. Do you mind if I pass on that? Sure. Michael, Christian, get out of there. Van truck's back. The Iceman cometh! Work 
those to that. Lawson, the side door's locked and the main entrance isn't an option. We're stuck. Okay, copy that, Michael. Head upstairs and find a way out. Audrey, see if we can pull up some plans for this warehouse. We need to find an exit point. Yep, no problem. There he is. What the hell happened? Oh, it's trying to kill me. Yeah, it looks like he almost did. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Leon, I need an ambulance at a laneway off Shelley Street in Richmond. Who was he? No idea. Leon, who's he texting? Not us. Get a trace. Is that it, Sure. How much longer till we can make the bus tire After this next process, One, the meth will be cooked. We two, can go in then. Three. See it come up. Lawson, that text message he sent was to one Will Carruthers. He's a drug counsellor. He's Blake's boyfriend, eh? What did the message say? Oh, I can only read text messages if I've cloned the phone. Well, you cloned it, didn't you? No, I put a bug in it. That's what you asked me to do. Mm. Well, that's a nice initiative. How's he doing, Stel? OK. It's Josh, you can tell. Look, I want to speak to him. Lawson, I'll let him know. He's OK, right? He's alive. I'm going to come with you. No, no, I'm OK. Just let someone do something for you for once. Okay, you can go back to work. That's what you can do. I'll just be back in a sec. Yeah, hi. Hi. Who's this? Oh, James, come on. Oh, sorry, hi, Mum. How are you? Everything okay? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, everything's great. Where are you? Um, just uh, out and about. I'm shopping for dinner, all right? Making some Vietnamese. You like Vietnamese, don't you? Sure, sure. I just, um, I just wanted to, uh, uh, make sure that everything's okay. What's this about, Mum? I'm fine. There's nothing to worry about. Well, we'll talk tonight. You pick up some wine? Oh, I'm not drinking at the moment. I, I better go, Mum. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Jimmy. Jimmy. Dion. Not too bad, mate. Dion. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, that boy you picked up. Hmm. That wasn't my James, you know. Well, whoever it was, you want to tell him to stop dropping your name. those plans. The council's got no records, sorry. We can't help you. Oh, well. It's a long shot anyway. Yeah. Hey, uh, I just want you to know, if you get injured in any way out there today, I'm gonna have to activate the cripple clause. Sorry? Yeah, just because we're seeing each other doesn't mean I have to look after you if you become permanently disabled. Right, well, uh, what if I was temporarily disabled? Oh, I'd have to assess that on a case-by-case -case basis. Harsh. But fair. Careful.